Hello from Voltacon. Today I'm gonna present you uh, our uh, 8 kilowatt off-grid system with lithium-ion batteries. The first thing that I want to highlight is safety, and safety always comes first. Solar energy is now more, uh, let's say, easy to use and safer for all uh, domestic environments. You can see from the construction of this unit that there are no exposed terminals. Uh, the battery cables are very well insulated. The DC fuses are under uh, a metallic enclosure and there are no live parts exposed to the users. Um, I'm going to start now the 8 kilowatt inverter. This is our uh, largest single phase inverter. It can be used in parallel with up to uh, 9 units. It has uh, a, a lithium ion port here for direct communication with Pylontech. Voltacon lithium ion batteries or you can use the customized uh, menu to set your own lithium ion uh, parameters. So the inverter starts and there is a nice uh, LED strip here that changes color and from uh, the color of uh, uh, the LED strip you can uh, find more about the, the state of your uh, inverter, if it has a fault, if it operates properly and uh, if uh, there are any warnings you can just read the color of uh, the strip light. Uh, the inverter has two independent MPPT inputs with 4 kilowatt uh, maximum power per input so that's a total of 8 kilowatt, it's a really big unit. Uh, there is an AC input that is connected to an external source it can be a generator or the mains. Please bear in mind that this is an off-grid system. It doesn't send any energy back to the grid. You can withdraw energy from the grid, but you cannot send energy, energy backwards. The AC output is connected straight to uh, the consumer unit of the property. And as we mentioned earlier, you can create a large single phase or a large three phase system. The parallel kit is already pre-installed and uh, wired directly to the inverter so you don't have to install the parallel uh, card. Uh, there are three operating modes. The solar, when you don't have an AC input you can just use the solar mode. You have the USB mode, that means utility, solar and battery, that's the priority. Or the SBU, that's solar, battery and utility. Uh, there is no much you can do about these units, they are actually plug and play. Uh, you don't have to program anything special except the batteries. You have to go to menu 5 to set the type of your battery. First is AGM, then you have your flooded batteries like the OPZS. Third, you have lithium ion batteries like Pylontech. And uh, then we have the LIC menu where you select for a customized lithium ion uh, uh, cells. Now we're going to come closer to our uh, silent power cabinet where we pre-installed uh, 15 kilowatt hours of energy storage using our own lithium ion batteries. The first step is to connect the BMS cable to the lithium ion port of the inverter. It is extremely important to get the right uh, BMS cable because the pin layout is different. This battery bank has a 16 into 1 BMS system and it works with 16 different uh, uh, brands of solar inverters in the market. For Voltacon inverters, off-grid inverters, the right pin layout is 3 and 5 on the inverter port, 1 and 3 on the battery serial port. The BMS cable communicates from the inverter to the battery and from the battery to the inverter. So the second step is to connect the other end of the BMS cable to the serial port. Some inverters, they operate from the CAN, like the Solis uh, hybrid inverters. Uh, the Voltacon inverters operate only from the serial port. The second step is completed. The third step is to set the master battery, dip switch 1, on. Dip switches 2, 3 and 4 remain down. The same on the second, third, fourth, and so on. All the other batteries, the slave batteries, should have the dip switches down. And then we link the BMS cables between the batteries from port 1 to 0, 1, 0, and we start 
our master battery first and then the second, the third and so on. On this side we have the power cables and we link the batteries in parallel. All the lithium ion batteries are connected in parallel. It is impossible to make a serious connection. Uh, it is all protected from people that they might attempt to put the cables to the wrong position. So red cables positive, black cables negative. And the output is connected back to the DC isolator. So that's it, just press the start button, switch your battery on, and if we go back to the screen, we will see the battery icon flashing. So we are looking into the screen now of the inverter, the battery icon is flashing, that means you successfully pair your uh, inverter with uh, the batteries, the communication software works fine. First time, when you set up the batteries, you will see the uh, warning 61 flashing on the top left corner of the screen. You need to restart the system and allow the inverter exactly 3 minutes, 180 seconds to upload the software. You don't have to consider that the inverter has a fault or an error. You have to wait exactly 3 minutes for the inverter to uh, upload the software to the batteries. We illustrated in this video how easy and safe it is to set up your off-grid solar system with lithium-ion batteries. The same procedure is applicable even for other inverters with BMS communication. Our 5 kW range of inverters, the 7.2 kW and the 8 kW, use exactly the same methodology to communicate with uh, lithium-ion batteries from Voltacon, Pyrolontec or other brands. Uh, as I explained, the system is expandable. You can use up to five cabinets of lithium-ion batteries without communication hub. If you are planning to make a much, much larger system, we supply the LV hub that enables communication of, of multiple cabinets uh, to transfer information back to the inverter. Thank you very much for watching our video. And if you need more information, please visit our website, voltaconsolar.com.